Great drivers, we're doing something a little bit differently today. We are thinking about something that you probably haven't thought about for a hell of a long time. And I know full well that a lot of you probably have got rid of what I'm about to uh, show you and pour because it looks shit and no one really, you know, wanted them around. They all saw them as low, lowly, lowly awful little things. But the Bell's decanter, the humble Bell's decanter. I need mean, to look under your skirt, but I was trying to find out where you were made. Um, anyway, this is the Bell's Decanter celebrating Christmas uh, of 1989. So, nearly 20 years ago this was bottled. Uh, I opened it uh, whilst family were over, just before Christmas, and I was blown away by it. I bought it for something stupid like fiver. And you've got to remember that 1989, so the distillate in there, is from the early 80s, if not late 70s, back then, depending on stock control and all that kind of stuff. So it's probably quite old stuff that's in there, even if the age is young, it's quite old as in production techniques, and the inputs will be from distilleries that probably don't exist anymore, or probably don't make whiskey as they did then, now. Um, so anyway. And I know it's quite fruity, there's an earthy note there as well. Slight mushroom character, which you know none of us really need. But no, lovely, lovely fruity vanilla character to it. Very soft, very chilled out. It's a whiskey that kind of knows that you're probably going to throw it away. You know what? On the palate, it tastes like a really old, refined. Uh, space side whiskey actually. There's a subtle kind of undercurrent of uh, smoke, uh, probably the old production techniques, owing to that. But in, in general, that tastes like something that if you didn't know it was a Bell's decanter, you'd think, actually that's not a bad bourbon mature for sure, there's no, no even sniff or a sherry cask in that guy. Um, if you think it's quite an old, refined, you know, maybe even a, a Balvenie or a, um, a, a lovely um, Crag Moor or something that's quite old that you don't really see that often. You'd be forgiven for thinking that it's something better than it is because the taste, by hands down, beats the design, the look, the weight of this thing. I mean, the cork actually disintegrated when I opened it, so I'm having to use a champagne stopper to uh, keep it live. But because yeah, it's too bloody wide at the top for anything else. And um, yeah, that's actually a surprisingly good whiskey for a fiver as well. I'm very, very chuffed about that. Shame the cork disintegrates. I've now got to fish out loads of cork bits every time I pour it. But apart from that, that's a really bloody nice whiskey. If you have a Bell's decanter at home, please open it. Try it. Let me know what you thought of it. Because I guarantee it will taste better than you think it is. And in a lot of convenience stores and corner shops and that kind of thing that have the old bottle of booze, I see a lot of these uh, still. And I'm toying with the idea of buying quite a few of them because bang for your buck, it's pretty decent. Uh, but I'm only going to get any with uh, bottled in the 80s, preferably early 80s. That's a bit late for me, to be fair, for what I want from the blend. I want stuff, stuff that's been in, uh, that was being produced in the 70s in, in my bells. Um, after, after that, I think it went uh, downhill. Hell's bells and all that. Um, nowadays, really not a fan. Um, but yeah, let me know, and I'm curious to see if you agree with this uh, this review and my views on the old uh, bell decanters. And if it's empty, just smash it. It looks awful. Cheers. Until next time.